But white supremacy by nature dictates black inferiority. You are not even on the radar in that regard, brothers and sisters. Whether they have accepted you as equal is not the question that they're answering in voting when they vote for Barack Obama. That is not what they are answering. It's only you imposing what you're, what, imposing your wish on them. What they are, what America is asking itself, brothers and sisters, is what is the best face that we can put on white supremacy to in, uh, project it into the next 100 years. Will a black face do it? Will a woman do it? Will a 77 year old man do it? And each of them have to pay homage to white supremacy before they can even get in the running. And that's why he's financed by somebody you know nothing about. So his face, the color of his skin, brothers and sisters, is only incidental to the question being asked. What is the face of white supremacy that we're going to have to put on to project it to the, uh, around the world for the next hundred years? That's the only question that they're asking. And brothers and sisters, they know that you and I have been made to be stupid. They planned it that way. They know that we're imposing a wish upon them. But if you notice, they never ever go into that thing. They never talk about it. And you know they won't talk about it because you can't even talk about it. Let you start talking about issues relevant and solutions relevant to the self. And see, don't you get shut down. But there are several things, brothers and sisters, we cannot do. We cannot keep recycling the same old leaders with the same old failed ideologies, generation after generation. We cannot continue, brothers and sisters, to place our life or death issues on the back burner, hoping for a great, a great white, or in this case, a great black face will come along and save us. We cannot create copycat leaders who, fail, who use a failed thought system and deceive us into using it, thinking, uh, think, making us think that we're going to get a different result than what we've gotten from using it over the last 40 years, just for example. And this is why they continually send you back to the same old thinking, brothers and sisters, and, make, and try to make you and I think that we're going to get um, a different result. Now, let me show you the weakness in that whole thing. While they're all sitting there having first black gasms, that's, when, that's what we experience when we get the first black this or the first black that. We call it a first black gasm because it's a good feeling that we have. They are uh, going through these first black gasms over the prospect of having a black man in the White House. Now that's kind of an a eerie thing in itself. You know, they called them house Negroes back in slave days. But the prospect of having the first black uh, man in the White House, before I even slip there, there's an 800 pound gorilla sitting in the room. And this 800 pound gorilla is stating the fact that while, they are, that while black people are 90% supporting Barack Obama for president, he could not find it within himself to even show up as a uh, participant in the State of the Black Union 